Well, I guess I've been procrastinating a bit. I uh, haven't done the November, December, or January's pickups. Uh, most of my pickups have heard from November. Um, I think of the about 45 albums I've got here, uh, 40 of them are from November, and uh, five are from December. And So let's begin the uh, pickup. We got a uh, nice little copy of Ozzy's Blizzard of Oz. And a copy of Pink Floyd's uh, Division Bell. That, they're both 180 gram uh, reissues. And those were the new pickups I got uh, at the start of December. After the new albums, we picked up a Benny Goodman and his orchestra presents. It's a jazz album from uh, 1953, followed by Jackie Gleason's to, uh, Music to Make You Misty, a 1954 uh, jazz album. Both Benny's and uh, Jackie's albums were uh, mono. Then I pick up a Toscanini's The Ducas and the Sorcerer's Apprentice. This is a 56 classical album. A Harry Belafonte, uh, Belafonte's at Carnegie Hall. This is a gatefold. And it's a uh, 1959 uh, Calypso album. And I finally did find a Mahler. It's a symphony number no. four in G major. The cover is totally destroyed by somebody who uh, decided to write all over it. And it does have a radio station stamp. It was originally owned by CKCY FM uh, radio station. And I got a Mendelssohn's Midsummer Night's Dream. It's another uh, classical album, Mono, from 1963. And the uh, Venture is a Go-Go. A 1965 rock album. That's followed by another Tchaikovsky's Overture, uh, 1812. And a few other pieces, 1966 classical album from the U.S. An original uh, Alice's Restaurant Massacre by Peter Ritchie. 1969 folk album, still in the shrink wrap. Huh. Uh, the Beach Boys Surf's Up, a 1971 rock album, and it's pretty dark. I'm not sure you're able to see anything on that. I picked another <coughs> copy of Jethro Tull's Aqualung. This is a 1971 rock album. An ELP uh, self-titled album from 71, a rock album. Another Mahler, Das Leid von der Erde. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> uh, 1971 classical album. And, uh, Henry Mancini and Doc Severinsen. Brass, Ivory and Strings. A 73 jazz album. Uh, Lalo Symphony Espanol. A 73 classical album. Found another Carly Simon album, uh, her No Secrets album from 1974. Well, these uh, few, well, I'm not sure if they're all in an order. These are almost near mint albums I found. The uh, Previn Rollerball. It looks like they've never been played. At least that one does. Then the self-titled album by a group called Firefall. Which is a 76 country. 
a self-titled album from Peter Gabriel. Uh, 77 Rock. Uh, J.S. Bach's uh, Brandenburg Concertos, uh, 77 Classical. Oops. Uh, Rod Stewart's Blondes Have More Fun. That's the same album I've got up on the wall as a picture disc. I've now got it as the uh, normal black vinyl, which is almost listenable to. He follows the 78 Rock. We got Handel's Water Music. A 78 Classical U.S. Quad Recording by Charles McInner and the Prague Chamber Orchestra. Box Organ Works, Volume 2. The Cata and Fugue in D Minor, Preludes and Fugues in G and C and Fantasy in G by Wolfgang Rubson. And we picked up something called, uh, or a band called Sniff the Tears. The, uh, excuse me, the album is called Fickle Heart, a 78 rock album. Jennifer Warren's uh, Shot Through the Heart, 79 pop album. Leo Sayers Living in a Fantasy. That's uh, an 80s pop. Oh, here's another one of that group that was, uh, looks like they would never been played. The uh, music from the TV show The Cosmos. It's a 81 soundtrack. If you ever watched Carl Sagan's The Cosmos, it was a pretty great show. And I found a new, uh, well, a different album by The Box than the one I normally have, or found, or have found before. It's Suspended Animation by The Monks. That one is an 81 New Wave. I've, I got a Peter Townsend's uh, All the Best Cowboys Have Chinese Eyes, an 82 rock album. And it is a gatefold. Whew, we're almost getting to the end, I think. Then we got the Box Goldberg Variations. This is another gatefold. And it is a digital recording from what I can see on the stamp here. Oh no, it's a CBS Records Masterwork, my mistake, and it is a digital recording. That's followed by the uh, Culture Club, Kissing to be Clever. That's an 82 synth pop. Woody Herman and his orchestra. The Best of the Big Bands, an 82 jazz album. A Rick Kua, that, uh, No Mystery, an 85 pop. Uh, this is a promo religious album. And Scott's Merritt's, uh, Scott Merritt, Gravity is Mutual. That's an 86 rock album. A slightly damaged cover uh, for the Concrete Blonde self-titled album, 86 Rock. A band called I I, Just in Time to Be Light, an 86 pop album, still on the shrink. And this one is a direct metal master. Uh, Christopher Ward's self-titled album. 87 pop, even though it seems to have a bullet hole, it has still, well, it's still sealed in the shrink. Susan Vega's uh, Solitude Standing, an 87 pop album. The New Regime, The Race, an 87 uh, pop album. Hope these aren't too dark.
And then we got Saga's Wildest Dreams, 87 rock album. Tipao, uh, self-titled album, 87 pop. The next few albums I haven't been able to ascertain a date. It's a Requiem by Sir John Barbuli. Obviously classical from the UK. Carmen's Le Bohème, another classical album printed, uh, stamped in Germany. Gerald English's Medieval Music, it's a classical album. Requiem K626 from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Ba J.S. Bach's Bach organ music. And Frannick and Mahler Symphony in D minor, three Rookwitz songs, obviously classical. And that's pretty well it for my pickups for November, December, and uh, January. As I said, nothing in January at all because we've been in lockdown for forever. And uh, maybe five of those were from December. Oh, well, that's it for now. So long, bye-bye, and see you around on that tube thing.